So for example, if a uh, speeder is going down the road, then the law enforcement officer would need reasonable articulable suspicion, basically something more than just a hunch, that they believe that person is speeding. So obviously if someone is speeding, law enforcement officers can pull them over and then obviously one thing can lead to another. Additionally, law enforcement officers look for equipment violations. So for example, if you have a headlight out or a tag light out or a crack in your windshield, then law enforcement officers will stop the vehicle as well. If the officers have a hunch that, or just somehow guess that someone might be, uh, say, trafficking marijuana, they don't really need reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that you're trafficking marijuana. All they really need is a reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that you've, create, that you've committed some sort of traffic offense or equipment violation. Most drug uh, investigations start with some sort of uh, initial stop that really has nothing to do with the drug uh, investigation that will occur once the officers believe that there is other criminal activity afoot. It's important to note that at this point, once a vehicle is stopped, if the officer believes that the driver or passengers are acting somehow suspiciously or that they uh, tend to be acting in a way in which something uh, might be hidden, then at that point, generally, the law enforcement uh, will put those